Happy New Year. I'm John Powell, Jr., President of Coachella Valley Water District Board of Directors. Thank you for joining me for a brief review of our services and operations in 2020 and a forecast of how the district plans to meet the water-related needs of future generations in the growing Coachella Valley. First, know that our thoughts are with everyone in the community impacted by the COVID-19 pandemic. COVID-19 has not changed our commitment to deliver safe, reliable water. We've continued to provide our services to customers and the community as we have for more than 100 years. So let me answer a key question that I hear often. We live in a desert. Do we have enough water? The answer is yes. Our vast underground aquifer has an estimated capacity of 39 million acre feet within the first 1,000 feet. Overdraft has threatened its water levels in the past. However, by securing supplies and supporting conservation efforts, we have slowed and even reversed that overdraft. As our last annual report, the amount of water in the aquifer is more than it was 10 years ago. We have accomplished this through successful groundwater replenishment programs, such as the operation that's happening right behind me. Uh, also through water conservation efforts and, and connecting customers to our non-potable recycled water systems. And we also have a tiered rate billing structure that encourages lower water use. We are one of only two water agencies in the state that has rights to both state and federal water supplies through the Colorado River and the State Water Project. We work diligently to ensure that those supplies are secured well into the future and that CVWD is well positioned to secure additional supplies when they become available. We defend our water rights so that our economy continue to grow in a sustainable manner and there is enough water for the future. Additionally, our water is high quality. The water that comes out of your tap meets the most stringent regulations in the world. It is safe to drink and we hope you enjoy it. Our highly trained employees collect and test more than 18,000 water samples every year. The samples face tests for more than 100 regulated and unregulated substances, including tests performed at our state certified water quality laboratory. You can learn more about water quality by visiting cvwd.org slash water quality where we share data from these tests for your information and peace of mind. We're also working to identify and fund projects to assist small private water systems in the Eastern Coachella Valley who don't have a connection to our water and sewer systems. These private systems suffer from low quality water and lack of sewer infrastructure. Over time, we plan to connect hundreds of these homes to our high quality water. These efforts continue as we look ahead to ensure our continued success and prepare for the future. We collaborate with other regional water agencies in working toward long-term sustainability with the 2022 Indio Subbasin and Mission Creek Subbasin Alternative Plan updates. The plans will establish sustainability criteria and identify projects and management actions to ensure adequate water supplies and a balanced basins. They evaluate water demands and potentially available water supplies through the year 2045. Our top priority remains protecting our groundwater supplies to ensure a sustainable water future for everyone in the Coachella Valley. This is also our key message in answering a lawsuit filed in 2013 by the Agua Caliente Band of Indians seeking rights to groundwater and stopping Coachella Valley Water District and Desert Water Agency from importing Colorado River water. Seven years of litigation have not produced a final resolution of any issues, except for the court's dismissal of the tribe's claim for Aboriginal groundwater rights and its claims regarding water quality of the imported water. The tribe has subsequently filed law another lawsuit regarding the charge that well owners pay when they pump water from the aquifer. CVWD and DWA are working with the tribe to resolve these cases as we continue to defend the rights of all of our customers and stakeholders against costly litigation. In 2020, to protect the health and safety of our 568 employees and minimize potential exposure to the COVID-19 virus, we developed business continuity plans. We closed our offices and added enhanced safety precautions to our daily work routines. We encouraged customers to do business online or via email and phone. We know that these are challenging times for some of our customers who are experiencing economic hardship due to the COVID-19 pandemic. To help, 
We offer a program with United Way of the Desert to aid customers who are having trouble paying their water bills. The Help to Others Customer Assistance Program gives eligible customers a $100 credit on their water bill once in a 12-month period. CVWD customers can rest assured that they will continue to receive safe, top-quality drinking water pumped from the Valley's vast aquifer that meets stringent state and federal standards that protect public health. While there is significant pressure on rates with new regulations and rising costs, we maintain the lowest domestic water rates in the region and we're working hard to keep it that way. However, due to factors such as rising testing, treatment, and energy costs, and aging infrastructure that needs to be reha rehabilitated or replaced, the district faces a need to evaluate rates for all of its water services. As a special district, we're required to charge rates based on the cost of service, meaning that we can only car charge a customer the cost to deliver the service to them. As those costs go up, so do the rates. We are undergoing a comprehensive update to calculate the cost of service-based rates for canal water, groundwater replenishment, and domestic water. The Canal Replenishment and Domestic Water Cost of Service Study is being prepared for fiscal 2022 and the subsequent four years so that revenues will continue to cover operating costs. We believe the cost of service approach is the best way to develop fair and equitable rates while supporting requirements laid out in the California Water Code and California Constitution. The study identifies major projects expected over the next five years including new pipeline installations and replacements, booster station rehabilitations and upgrades, new wells and well rehabilitations, new reservoirs and rehabilitations, and water treatment plant upgrades. The Board of Directors has already held several study sessions on the cost of service study and plans more to examine options thoroughly. The Board will consider a new rate structure following a public hearing tentatively scheduled for late April. Despite the struggles of the pandemic, I'm proud to say that 2020 was another year where CVWD accomplished many great things in our continued mission to serve the community. 2020 saw the completion of development and infrastructure improvements that increase efficiencies and service and allow for expansion. Here are quick highlights of those major construction projects. One new and one rehabilitated lift station will serve anticipated future sewer flows through the year 2045. Upgraded equipment at a water reclamation plant integrates operations into a district-wide control system. Aeration improvements at a water reclamation plant lowers chemical and power costs and increases water quality for recycling. This $26 million project consolidates two CVWD water systems to improve water quality and reliability for customers in Desert Shores, Salton Sea Beach, and Salton City. A new booster replaces a 50-year-old facility that supplies water to Sky Valley and Indio Hills customers. A new pump station encourages large groundwater pumpers to use canal water for irrigation. Two new reservoirs increase storage in the Oasis area and improve the delivery system. Parking lots at both the Coachella and Palm Desert campuses have new slurry seal and road improvements, organized traffic circulation near the Palm Desert replenishment ponds. As you can see, our plans and priorities continue to reflect the district's mission statement to meet the water-related needs of the people through dedicated employees providing high-quality water at a reasonable cost. Thank you to the community for your continued support of what we do. Your water is our promise.